when I first heard about this young person, I'd heard that he um, he's in year seven, he beat up another year seven, and while he was doing this, he got his mate to video um, the incident. Um, and after he'd beaten him up, he'd asked this guy to beg for mercy. Obviously, the school dealt with the dealt with the issue, but this is the first story I heard of this lad. And um, then the, a few weeks later, the school said, "Are you okay to meet with this meet with this guy and see if we can, rather than him being excluded and out of the school system, um, be given a second chance?" And the first time I met him, he was actually on a one-to-one -one basis, the really nice kid. He's um, easy to get along with, talkative. Um, we just played a game of Monopoly. Um, hung out for a bit, we talked about his behaviour. But on the whole, it's a, it, it's a young person I see with potential and has, you know, if he stays at school, he's got opportunity to do well. And I think the accompanying project is working with these young people who are blinded. They're unable to see what their future is, what their hope is. Um, and I think the accompanying project is bringing that into young people's lives. Um, well, last year I was working alongside um, a girl who was said to be selective mute. And for the first few months of working alongside her, she was coming and meeting up with me and she wouldn't look at me and she wouldn't speak to me. And I found that really difficult. Um, over a period of a few months, um, she started to trust me and she started opening up and um, she started speaking to me and telling me what was going on um, within her. And um, she, yeah, just as the months went on, I just saw her um, turn into more of a, a confident um, girl. She started to believe in herself. She started to have dreams. I think I learnt not to limit what God can do um, through me or through anyone. And yeah, I got to see a girl's life change. And now she is in secondary school and has made a new group of friends. And she just has confidence just to be, um, yeah, who God's designed her to be. So there's one uh, young person I can think of who's been part of our one of our mentoring projects and this young person uh, got connected up with us because of just some tragic circumstances at home um, with uh, deaths in the family and over that time um, that we've worked with this uh, young person um, not only has a relationship of trust been built but he's moved from a place of uh, being kind of at risk of being excluded from school and being on report to a place where now he's completely off report and where he is uh, very engaged in the school that he goes to in sport and in other extracurricular activities and he's now seen by many of the teachers as a real role model uh, for other pupils in the school. don't just work with them and then go home. We will like, after hours, we'll pray for them and come up with ways to um, help them and make things better, make things run more smoothly. And yeah, when I came to work for Bath YFC, they just genuinely care about people.